hold that one instead. <laughs> hey guys, we're just having a conversation going on here. Happy Good Friday. Happy Good Friday. And, and Happy Easter almost. It's coming. It's, I don't know about y'all, but this Sunday's is. Sunday's coming. Uh, this is my favorite time of the year. I, Easter's my favorite holiday because one, we get together as a family. Two, we have Easter egg hunts, which I love. Three, it's spring. I know. It's not winter. I not am a winter. spring, summer person. I know. My peonies are blooming. They've died every year, and they're coming, and I'm so excited. Cut me, cut me one. Bring it to me Monday. Well, no, no. They don't have blooms, blooms. Oh, I mean, they're actually, okay. like, growing, which not brings, dead. Which brings <laughs> up, hi, hey, Lori, what's y'all's favorite flower? I'm just curious. I like a giant bloom, so hydrangeas and peonies. I love hydrangeas. So just as we're talking on here, tell us what your favorite flower is. I don't know about y'all, but um, my mother had shared with me, I didn't know this, that she had, um, since their very first house, had carried thrift. Uh, do y'all like thrift? I don't even know what that is. I've never it's heard It's a beautiful of it. ground cover, and it has this little purple flower. Oh, my dad hates that stuff. He mows it. <laughs> The purple flowers. He's like, kill it all. Yeah, so sorry so, to your mother. Anyway, oh, my mother loved thrift. And she shared with me that she had carried around thrift from their very first house oh. for 74 years. And had planted it from the, one, her first house to the next one to the next one. So every time I see <laughs> flowers, every time I see uh, azaleas. Are y'all's azaleas blooming? They're trying. Ours are just getting ready They're to trying. bust out. Um, so it's like. Dogwoods, everything. Spring is sprung. I and love it. For Scythia. Oh my gosh, I love for Scythia. Do, I take dogwood and for I want to, I want, I, now here's where I'm really bad. When we drive by people that have for Scythia, do you I'll tell take Jane, that? I'm like, is it illegal if I go cut that? Cut some so I can. It's illegal. Plant some? It's not mine. It's stealing. True. So anyway. True. All right. So happy Friday. Tell us your favorite flower. Love it. It's funny. Me and the kids have that debate too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can They're we like, take well, Mom, some of their branches? Take some. I was like, we cannot. All right, so guess what? Not we're our gonna, house. We're going to talk about a brand new stencil. Yes. Get mad at me. Y'all are like, don't quit introducing things. It's like, yes. This is, let's, I want to take You're off take of one. Out. Yes. Yeah, yeah, take, take that off. Out. Take You take it off. Okay. And so that way it won't have a glare on it. And um, we'll just use this one. You know, snowed on April Fool's Day. Okay, I have to tell you all this. Same on it. So, oh, I love lilacs. You weren't here yesterday. So they did an April Fool's on Jean Howard, who oh, is yeah. the prankster. Oh, no. And so our dog Theo here, um, Birdie took Theo to her car. And then Leah went and told Jean that Ber that um, Theo had run out. away. Oh, my God. And so he was came he in. Frantic? Yes. He was. He turned red, meaning one, his blood pressure went up. He turned red. He ran in here. He yelled at me, and he goes, "Theo's gotten loose," and so he said, "Where is his leash?" And so, Mayor Margaret's not really good about keeping jokes, but we won't go into there. But anyway, <laughs> so he took off running <laughs> down the street, and Bertie had put him in her car. So they got Gene Howard. Did so, he laugh or was he mortified or just thankful his doggy was okay? His blood pressure was so up, it took him probably two hours to come down from it. So they got him. It was <laughs> April Fool's. It was so good. Anyway, all right. And I'm I'm the worst because I, I told them. I encouraged them to be pranksters. <laughs> She's like, do it. I I'm, I said, Steal the dog. I, I'll give you money to be pranksters. <laughs> oh, gosh, help me, Hannah. Okay. There are I know y'all are alive. Would you just show us the craft and shut up? <laughs> I can't say. I... Well, welcome to the crazy. That's, that's how we play. So let me show you what we're going to show you today. We're introducing this amazing new stencil. Now, the great thing about it is, is that you can do so many projects with the stencils. I mean, it's fabulous. And, and Michelle are gonna, and I are going to talk about it. But look at this. Look at this kit. Is this the cutest? So... This is an adorable soap dispenser. Look at that. And it's using, look at all the stuff. You get the I and the Vine stencil. You get two samples. Look at, you want to show them that? You get two whole containers, which okay. are going to have tons left over. Oh my gosh, tons. You get two uh, different containers of paint. You get the soap dispenser. Show them what it does. It's bamboo. It completely comes apart. 
So that way you so, can refill it. Yes, absolutely. And you don't have to worry about your bamboo at all. It just slides right back in there. So it's really great. It's easy Screw to keep, take on. care of. And then you get two brushes and then your beautiful stencil, your brand new stencil. So that kit is what we are introducing today. We only have a few of them. So if you love this, this is a great project to do. Absolutely. I love the versatility of it, but also it's kind of what we call this. Our tagline is crafting a beautiful life. So you can craft a beautiful life for yourself and in your home Absolutely. to be able to enjoy. So we're gonna show you how to create this today with our brand new stencil. Isn't, it Isn't that the cutest? So pretty, fresh, very springy. Screen. Yes. Very springy, would would be beautiful. I just see as far as, um, I always burn candles in my bathroom. Yes, so I mean, just as far as a grapefruit, that smell, mm -hmm. and just being able to have it with a cute, cute soap mm -hmm. dispenser. And it's so subtle. The colors are not screaming, so it really goes with any palette. It's really pretty. Well, the great thing about it is too, you get all this paint that you can do on so all nice. of these all projects the that you've got. Mm -hmm. But then I love the stencil because it does have the ability for you to be able to do all these different vines on everything. And then we're gonna talk about that scripture, which I love. Absolutely. So here's the dealio. As you see us, um, please be sure and one, tell us your flower, do hashtag replay. But if you share this video and tag three friends, your name's gonna go in for a drawing. Mm -hmm. And then on Monday, we'll announce the drawing. So all day Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, share the video, tag three friends, and then you could win this kit. Yay! We do this every time we do a Facebook Live. So, oh, Gretchen, I love Ooh, the idea. At the kitchen this sink. This would be so pretty at the kitchen sink. It so would. Yeah, really pretty. And it's really great looking bamboo. And, um, but I love the fact that you can take the plastic container out mm -hmm. and have that cover. It's really pretty. All right, so just be sure and tell us um, who you are, your flower, and we're going to turn this down. And then, um, show you how to be able to create this mm -hmm. also. But um, thank you for sharing the love. Thank you, that's so sweet. We, we love hearts, we love- um, Yeah, we do. We love sprinkles. We like it Makes us feel good. And loved. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes, our, um, I think most people have a love language of affirmation. We all need to feel valued. We all need to feel that we are important. Yes. And that we make a difference. All right, so peonies. Oh my gosh, petunias. Oh, I oh. love, I love, I love all flowers, but I love knowing what other people like. Um, that makes it a lot more fun. All right, so let's turn this down. Let's show you, hey Dawn, let's show you how to make this gorgeous soap dispenser today. So let me turn this down, but it's not that we're not being rude by not seeing your names, but I can't see you um, while, we're, while we're filming this. All right. So, all right, so let's do this. Let's show you how to create this. Move our stuff away. I'm gonna need one of those brushes, my friend. Please. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Um, so we have a larger painter's tape, but I want a more narrow line. So I just took my scissors and cut off a section and used this, I wanted a little bit wider one, so I used the wider side. You can cut it straight up the center, you can make it whatever size you want, but we have a bamboo line that we leave exposed in this project. I think it really adds a lot of dimension to it. It, it does, it, it gives really, it some character. It really does, mm -hmm. to have that wood showing through there. It's really cute. Yep, we love it. So, um, you are gonna have your cartouche screen, which is the base color that we used. And I think I might need a bowl or something to pour it out in. Oh, why okay. can't I open, there we go. I'm like, why can't I open it? Let me see. Do we have, you know what, we've got this one, Amy. It won't, it won't fit though. What bowl? This one's too, it's not any bigger for me to get the head in there. Okay, hold on just a second, let me get one. Um, oh, I didn't think about that, my friends. Okay, hold on just a second. No, give me one of no, the plastic bowl, cups. Though. Or a bowl. Just a wider, I need a wider mouth. Because obviously your three inch sponge brush is not going to fit in this container. <laughs> Thank you. All right, friends, so I'm just gonna pour a little out in here so that I can actually get my brush into it. These are great to be able to have in your house to work they on projects. Are. It's so nice. We like to buy them in bulk. <laughs> and we're just going to get that coverage. Probably wanna take the butt 
or the handle of one of your brushes just to burnish that tape down. Yes. You wanna make sure that that's really adhered good. The nice thing about this is this is water-based. Mm -hmm. It's going to adhere. You wanna be able to allow it to cure, but it's gonna adhere. You don't have to sand it or prime it or strip it or anything. That way, that's what's so great about it is a chalk-based paint. We call it our one-step paint, and we do sell it on um, a Maker Studio website. But I love it because it's gonna give you just a beautiful matte finish, but you don't have to seal it with anything. So it's really pretty. It's not glossy, and I think it goes really well. We're using the, the, um, the white paint on this. We're not actually using ink on this today. Right. So it's we are all using gonna be all one step paint. Which means that if it's there by your sink and it gets wet or whatever, you're not you going to have to worry it about it running. That's or right. You don't have to worry about it and you don't have to issues. seal it. So you're going to have plenty left over. Oh my word. So, so you could much. go to Goodwill with what you've got left over. Now here, oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun thinking about this. So go to Goodwill <laughs> when you're finished buy a picture frame or you may even have some things in your attic yes that you would be able to paint the frame now here's what i like doing take the picture out of the frame paint the frame leave the glass yes put the glass back in it and then come back and you could use the entire stencil and stencil this with the white paint yeah paint the frame and then that way you've got a gorgeous um, glass art piece mm -hmm. that you you didn't do anything really extra. You didn't spend any money. I mean, you can get those pictures for about a dollar and a half. Yep. Um, two fifty. You may even have something in the attic where the artwork maybe is from the eighties or nineties, yeah, and you're like, I don't outdated. like that anymore. Yep. Take the print out, take the frame, the mat out, and just have the glass. Use this paint that you're going to have left over, plenty of it, to paint the frame, and then do this entire art piece. Um, Absolutely. With the stencil design. I love that idea. Somebody please do that and put it on the Crafting a Beautiful Life page so we can see it. So I'm just cleaning up my edges so that I have a really nice edge all the way around. Um, and we've got pretty good coverage for the first coat. So we don't want to go really, really heavy. Mm -hmm. It's better to do two thin coats, guys, instead of one heavy thick coat. Yes. Two thin coats. Allow it to dry about 20 minutes in between. Um, we're going to let Elizabeth take this off and she's going to dry it with a hair dryer. And then um, we're going to come back and we're going to show you how to create this gorgeous design that we have on our piece here. Isn't that darling? Okay, so guys, if you're just now popping on, um, my name is Amy and I'm here with Michelle. And we're showing you a brand new stencil today that we're introducing in a kit that you can do something totally different. We're making these adorable soap dispensers that somebody, I think it was Gretchen, said this would look adorable in your kitchen. Yes. Um, matter of fact, this one might have to go home with me <laughs> and go to my kitchen. She's like, I love it might that need idea. To go to the kitchen. It's very springy, very summer, but mm -hmm. it, it's it's a color that can go on in almost any bathroom. Absolutely. So um, so let's. Let's talk about, while well, she's drying that for us, let's talk about the stencil. So I'm gonna hold this up. I know, let's you wanna turn this up. We she wanna wants see to see you. your face. Hey Brenda, how's it going? <laughs> Isn't that a gorgeous color? It's one of our most popular greens. Yes. Green is all in right now. Um, yes, Dawn, you can use the one step paint on glass. A lot of people don't realize that. You do want it to cure. Yes. Um, now, so when we talk about curing, you can use it on glass, but let it set for several days. Now, mm -hmm. can you enjoy it? Absolutely. Absolutely. But but don't you don't want to go up it. and like go up and it's it's not necessary. But it's a great piece of art. If nobody's ever done that before, it's fun to go to Goodwill. I have. You have. I know. Mm -hmm. We did. We've done it here. It's adorable. A lot of people don't think about it. Take the old ugly picture mm -hmm. frame out. Paint the frame and then use the glass and then use the one step paint on the glass with this design. It's yes. great. You can, do, I mean, I, so I found a big vase and it wasn't pretty. It was just basic glass. It was very boring. And I painted it in a really pale pink and I waxed it with our silver wax. And then I gilt, well, I waxed it last. I gilded across the top with rose gold and I gave it to my mom's Mother's Day with a plant in it. 
and she still has it. She loves it. And she's washed it out and put more flowers in it and washed it out and put more flowers in it. Which brings up the point. We love it. A handmade gift has so much more value mm -hmm. than going to the store and buying something. Would y'all yeah. not agree? It. I mean, you poured time. You poured yourself into the gift. And you thought about them when you, like, usually when you create something for somebody, it's because you've thought of them and you know they'll love it. Yes. Like, Agreed. It, you know that it's going to matter to them. All right. It's so important. This is our new stencil that we're introducing today. Now, you may say, well, I don't want the soap dispenser kit, but I love that stencil. It will be available today. You can buy it by itself. We love the fact that you're able to do this design in this kit on the soap dispenser, but then you can, you can also make a great looking sign with it and use the leftover paint to be able to use on a picture frame. Um, so let me see. The question was, let me see. Can you use a one-step paint on anything and it's permanent? Pretty much. Uh, Jean, sa Jean says on everything except small, small children. children. And I argue because mine have played in it. But it does wash off of them. Yes. You <laughs> don't have to sand it, strip it, or prime it, and it will adhere. It just needs to be able to cure in order to be able to bind to it. Yep. All right. So we want to talk about this really quickly. Um second coat? I think so. Okay. So I'll Michelle's going to put, while are talking. Let sh let's show you. So you see as far as, now this is what it's going to look like on the first coat. It's not going to be 100% coverage. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put a second coat on it and the second coat's going to get it. Yep. So beautiful. All right. So we're going to talk about this, um, this verse. Yes. Now it's John 15, five. I am the vine and you are the branches. Now I'm going to cover that part up. I mean, now, everybody hears that. Mm -hmm. I am All the, the vine, you are the branches. And they stop there. They, I mean, like, um, that's, that's what we hear all the time. But. Like it's a promise. Or. I like am the vine, the you are the, the branches. Statement. But here's, here's the part that we miss out on. Without me, you can do nothing. Without me, you can do nothing. And so when we had gone into the Experiencing God study, mm -hmm. and I want to say it's the first verse that we go over that week, um, that first week, and it's about to memorize that. And I think it's very important that we have this verse in our home to be able to teach our children, to be able to inspire and um, continue reminding us that we can do nothing without God. We can make all the plans in the world. We can think that we've got it all under control. Yep. But without him, we can do absolutely nothing. So, and then just reminding, when I was talking to Jean about this this morning, with I am the vine and you are the branches, that we have to abide. Yes. And it's abiding. A, it's a consistent process. Yes. It's daily. Um, that's right. We can do we can't do anything. That's right. And so we just, we forget about that. And I just thought, I love, I love this verse and John 15, five, but just going in, John, going through and reading, you should, I encourage you to read John 15, six, um, John 15, seven. They're great. It's just a great, great, uh, chapter. So that's right, Andrea, we can make our plans, but the Lord's going to determine yep. what our steps are. Absolutely. Right. Um, you know, and I would love to know, just some people on here, share with us as far as maybe what this mean, what this verse means to you and knowing and abiding. Here's the other deal. If you read, if you go on and you read down to John 15, 7, it is how the Lord answers our prayers and our desires. When the desires of our heart align with his, how he's going to be faithful and answer our prayers. Every time every time and so you can know, I do a disclaimer though yes y'all sometimes the answer is no and sometimes the answer is not now it does not mean that he hasn't heard you or he hasn't answered mm -hmm. he hears mm -hmm. and he answers because he's faithful but he also knows what is best and good for his children and that is not always yes and here's the other thing about this when we are abiding in him we, the things that are important to us, it all starts to change. Yes. It does, those things from years ago that mattered to me, they don't matter anymore. Yeah. 
and it allows me to literally start the things that are holy, the things that are important and valued to him. Um, they matter to me. Yeah. It's what has allowed me to see women that have been in human trafficking as my sister in Christ, that I don't see them as how a lot of people would see them as prostitutes. They were trafficked and God has a purpose and a plan for their life. Absolutely. And he uses all of us and this business as part of a means of letting them know that they are loved and they are valued and that the enemy has no place in their life. Like, get out. Mm -hmm. And Not he's bound. Not only that, that's the Lord's picture of his redemptive story. Yes, absolutely. Over and over and over. Yes, amen, Dixie. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so thank you. Now we have two coats. Let's show them what that looks like. We've got two coats on our soap dispenser. I can't see my tape anymore. And so the tape is almost covered up. Now we're going to take the tape off. So Except for I was more careful about painting. We're almost not finished. On the tape. So we're going to turn this down. Um, and so I, I, one, I appreciate y'all and that you, you love talking about spiritual things. That's been one thing that Gene and I talk about in our marriage. It's that I need, as his wife, that mm -hmm. I need to talk about spiritual things with him. And so. To be quite honest with you, a maker studio, when we started it, um, the Lord had really shared with me that it was about the women. It was about his word. And, oh, that looks so pretty, Michelle. Thanks. Maybe so, I shouldn't have taken the tape off before I put the stencils on. I just thought about that. It's okay. I was like, hmm. It can go. It's okay. It's I all good. It back on. It's all good. Like, so we just love we, we just love I being able to create really beautiful things that the scripture verses are on that you can put in your home. All right, so now we're going to turn this down. And hey, Patricia, hey guys, but isn't it sweet to talk about spiritual things with other believers? It's so encouraging, and it's not um, to me God's word. It doesn't offend. It mm. it it, it uplifts you. Uplifts. It encourages you, and it gives you. Um, um, I need to read that. I lost faith when I was trying to have a baby. I waited. Hold on just a second. I got to read this, guys. Um, of IVF and untold stories that it finally worked. And now mm -hmm. um, I now tell that my one and only child, that God made you just for us and wait until he had the best one. I see things that are the Lord's timeline. That's right. What a Yes. Yes. But that's here, here, that's what's so precious. As we learn to abide, then we're waiting on God's timing. Yes. We're content, and we will see his faithfulness. So what a story. I love that. Thank you I so much too. for sharing. Yes. So thank, thank you. That's why I love y'all sharing this. It encourages me. Um, all right. So let's turn this down, and let's show you how to do this. Are we ready? We are. Okay. Elizabeth's going to grab us some water. So we can take care of our stencil. Okay, got it. All right, friends. We used this section. So you have this amazing stencil and tons of options. What tons. we use in this kit is this. It, all, it reminds me of sage. Yeah, or it's so pretty. Or rosemary. It's so pretty. Thyme. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yes. But having all these garlands and wreaths on here. Amazing. The thing is, too, you don't have to use the entire scripture you can change this up it's just got a lot of different options on it mm -hmm. um remember we tell you guys it's not about using the whole stencil sometimes you just use parts right and the parts do what you need do what you want and help you to build creativity one thing that you need to see on here and i think it's really important from a design aspect is see this right here how we have the bamboo showing the tape where it's, I think it adds to just to the design, that it's total negative space. It's a visual break, but it's also a great texture. I'm wondering. And everybody's com is going to be the same. But lay it on top of that, I want it to go right. where that placement is. Like, now you're going to get, you're going to get creative on me. Well, I pulled the wrong one. So this is the one that we put on it initially was went this way. So we've kept our tape on top of where we painted 
you don't want to take that off. We made the mistake of taking it off. <laughs> and, then and then I we was like, like, wait, we huh, got to put it back on here. Probably want that to protect that line I so diligently made. So if you've never seen us before, we're working with our, um, our stencils. They are a special polymer material that is adhesive. So it allows you to be able to put this on top of the one step. And we're actually going to use the one step paint on top of it as well. But you do want to make sure, please, 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 if you order this kit, you're going to have so much fun. All your um, materials are in here, except your tape that you're going to need. But you do want to make sure that you've got some water close by, because after you put it on, you want to make sure to clean that stencil out very quickly. Yep. You do not want the one step to dry in there. And this is permanent. You don't have to seal this with anything. So as Gretchen said earlier, this would be fantastic next to your kitchen sink. Um, and it unscrews so that way this will come out and that fine that's great and go back in there like that all right can i have a foam dome and yes ma'am yes ma'am so you've got Actually, your foam dome brush do i need the cup like do i need the cup or can i take it straight out you of can here? take it straight out of there awesome. but with this kit it is so great because guys you're you'll have so much paint left over you're going to be able to you're do a lot of other projects so with projects. it. It's really a great buy as far as everything that you're getting in this, in this kit. Mm -hmm. And you can use, we've got examples. We did a t-shirt with I Am The Vine. Yes. You could make um, a great looking chalkboard. All right, we ready? I'm just offloading. I don't want too much in my sponge brush. But so I do load want it up and then offload. in my sponge brush. Yes, yes. So it is kind of an up and down motion. It is. You don't want to be dragging it across. Mm -mm. It's more up and down. That's going to allow you to be able to get it, push it through that mesh. And I'm turning it just a little bit sideways so I can see because I don't want to go over. You can always use painter's tape to protect your edges. And I didn't want to tape this all up, so I didn't. I just want to be able to see where my edges lie. The other thing, as you're doing projects and you're learning how to manipulate things, how different products that you can use, how they work, I love the idea of being able to have the tape to where we allow mm -hmm. that natural bamboo to show through. Look at that. Perfect. I love the detail in that. Can mm -hmm. I just show them? So yes. that way, can you see? See how Michelle wrapped that, just as far as the positioning, the composition, it makes it really, really pretty. Love that. And I'm just putting, because I took all of it out, I can put my hand in it, which is allowing me to hold it without needing to use my thumb and touch it all over the place. So it's, it's good help there to just be able to put your hand in it. So you see the composition that we're going for on this. You want to be able to have enough negative space. You don't want to overdo it. But at the same time, the negative space becomes as powerful as the positive design. Absolutely. So not to overdo it, but we just love the fact that this new stencil, look at all the garlands on here. There's so many different so many patterns options. and designs of the leaves. I agree with Michelle. This one kind of looks like sage. It's beautiful. And this is the one-step paint, so you don't have to seal it. Once this is cured, guys, this is on here. It's on here. It ain't going nowhere. If you, if you ever call and ask how to get the one-step paint off, Gene Howard jokingly goes with a sledgehammer. Yeah. Once it's cured, <laughs> it's there. And you can it's paint fa you can paint fabric with it if you, you can. want to. Abs and honestly, I did before we had our fab fabric. Let's paints. show. Let's show them as you take. The, there's the reveal. It's, it's pretty addictive and it's also nerve wracking. It is. And I'm trying not to pull it correctly because the paint is so it's liquid. So I, if I pull wrong, I don't want to transfer. If I pull too hard, I don't have control of my stencil. <laughs> that looks fab. Okay. So let's, let's show them just how to clean it with water really quickly. Absolutely. Okay. So I always have water really close by. And I just lay my stencil in. Um, the paint does have a, it's got a nice open time, but I wouldn't do more than two to five minutes. 
Would you be mad at me? Can I take some of this Absolutely. off? Because Go I for won't it. be able to show them. Go for it. So I put it back on once. <laughs> yeah. All right. So guys, look. So here we go. Our painter's tape, this is part of the reason why we put this on here, is to be able to allow that bamboo to come through and add the texture. Isn't that fun? Does that make sense so what we're doing? protected yes. my so white cute. space there. So cute. And we'll continue to work our way around on this because we love the fact that it's got this great pattern and composition to it. Isn't that yummy? I just love it. All right, so then Michelle just wanted to make sure that she got all of the one step out, out of the stencil, so that way we'll lay it up and allow the adhesive side to dry. To dry. That way we can use it again and again. And so you'll see, I do have some staining around the outside, but I'm not worried about that. My no. mesh is clear. Yes. And that's my, my goal is to have clear mesh. The staining is no big deal. That's just the life of using stencils. And look with this kit, I, we've barely used- Anything. We've barely used this paint. So that way I've got picture frames I can go get at Goodwill <laughs> and redo them, you, this kit comes with cartouche um, green and stoneware. These are two of our best-selling colors. It comes so with the stencil, as well as your soap dispenser and two brushes. So it's a great project, but even more than that, it's, one, it's gonna be one of my favorite stencils. It's so pretty, I Just love it. one, I think this is a scripture verse that we need to all memorize. Agreed. I think this is one that we can have in our home. You could do a great chalkboard with this, but just in remembering, I am the vine, you are the branches, but without me, you can do nothing. You can do nothing. Nothing. It's like, I, we've, we say this around here all the time, we can accomplish more in six months with God than we can in 60 years without him. Amen. So let's quit fighting and let's just surrender and allow him to live in and through us abide in him, relax, yeah. allow him to be able to just give us a quieter spirit and enjoy the journey that he's got us on. Amen. Because in his timing, he's gonna take care of his children. Mm -hmm. He's not going to leave us or forsake us. So he is a good, good father. So guys, we hope that you have a beautiful Easter weekend. Let's remember that while we call it Good Friday, that this was the day Christ was crucified and sent his, I think about that gift. Yeah. I'm also reading a book called, it's by Randy Alcorn called Heaven. And just seeing how much he adores us and how he is preparing heaven for us. Yes. That we're only here for a blip, for just a moment. Mm -hmm. So enjoy it. So the thousand years is as a day to him. Mm -hmm. So for us, it feels like such a long lifetime. And the Lord's like, you have no idea. Mm -hmm. In the infinity of time, not so much. So as you look at those flowers, as everybody's talking about all the flowers that you love, that there was a time you think about when the Lord was creating that and those flowers for his enjoyment and for yours. Amen. How beautiful they are, how fragrant they are. And um, it's just a gift, a reminder that we have a beautiful father that is creative. And I think so much of why we love creating because we're made in his image. That's right. So um, nothing's more beautiful. Yes, we're Little his. Little images. So have a, but have a beautiful, beautiful Easter. Enjoy this time of rebirth. Enjoy your family and friends. And know that we love you. We appreciate you. We value you. And we love the fact that you love scripture verses as much as we do. Let's put them all over our home and tell our family and our friends that story, how much God adores them. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter, everybody. We love you. Share this video. <laughs> and tag three friends. Tag three friends. Your name will go in for the drawing, and we're going to give this kid away. So that way we'll make the announcement to the winner on Monday. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.